What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we're going to talk about the new uh, Synchro Panel Monster we finally have the effect for, and that is uh, Clearwing Fast Dragon. So yes, this is a new version of Clearwing. Basically, it's like we saw in the manga and everything, it is the manga version of Clearwing. You know, how the stories are different, and that means the cards are different too, so it's kind of like alternate versions. But yeah, this gives us a uh, another Synchro Panel Monster, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me go ahead and read off its stats and effects and everything, and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. First off, it is a Wind Dragon Synchro Pendulum Monster. Level 7, has a scale of 4, 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. It requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner wind monsters. Its Pendulum effect is uh, you can send one uh, speed rod tuner and one non-tuner monster you control to the graveyard whose total levels equal 7. Special summon this card from your Pendulum Zone. You can only use this effect of a Clear Wing Fast Dragon once per turn. And then its monster effect is uh, during either player's turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. That was a special summon from the extra deck until the end of this turn, its attack becomes zero. Also, its effects negated. You can only use the effect of Clearwing Fast Dragon once per turn. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. So yeah, basically this card is living up to its name. I mean, it is going to be a fast synchro monster to bring out, and uh, I like how it's actually using its pendulum effect and everything too, because uh, you can just have it in your pendulum zone and then be able to send a speedroid tuner and then a non-tuner monster you control to the graveyard. Of course, make sure their levels equal 7, and then you're instantly able to basically synchro summon it. You know, so there you go, you easily uh, got that Synchro Monster out there, so that's pretty cool. And then of course too, it also has different requirements if you're just going to Synchro Summon it normally, because it requires one tuner and uh, one or more non-tuner wind monsters to use it. So that gives you two different ways to Synchro Summon I think that might be the first time we've ever seen something like that, where it has, you know, actually two different ways to Synchro Summon a monster that actually says it in the text, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I like how they're doing that because, you know, the Pendulum Effect giving making it so that it has to be a Speedroid tuner, and then it doesn't matter on the on tuner and then it's pretty much the reverse on the monster effect where it just has to be a tuner monster and then it has to be a wind non-tuner on the on that monster effect so that's pretty cool I like how they're doing that that's really interesting so it gives you a lot of different ways to bring this card out and then not only that you're able to uh, target a face-up uh, monster your opponent controls that was special summon from the extra deck make its attack zero and then also negate its effects so yeah really powerful card on that and then even after that of course when it's destroyed by battle or card effect it goes back to the pendulum zone so this makes it so you can summon it either way maybe you summon it from the extra deck first, you know, by uh, using a tuner and then a, a non-tuner wind monster, and then after that, it's just, say it's destroyed for some reason, whether it be battle or card effect, send to Pendulum Zone, and you can summon it the other way, and then just bring it back. So, really powerful card, I like what they're doing with these so far, and uh, I'm enjoying seeing a new version to Clearwing, because Clearwing has been one of my favorites from Arc 5, and it's cool to see a really powerful uh, Synchro Pendulum form too. So that makes me excited to see what we're going to see from the other versions of the, like the different Odd Ice cards, like are we going to see a, I guess, an XC Pendulum of uh, Dark Rebellion, you know, that's actually, you know, a counterpart to Dark Rebellion? I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what else we're going to see from it, because I have not, uh, of course, read anything on this manga just yet, because I'm waiting for the English translation, you know, and the book to actually be out for us, so I'm waiting on that, and uh, I have no idea. But I'm going to assume that all the other, you know, different Odd Eyes dragons, whether it be, you know, like I said, Dark Rebellion, to uh, all the way to Star Venom, are going to have their own Pendulum versions too, so. And what's kind of funny too is that we've already talked about a new, a really strong uh, XC Pendulum today, so now we're talking about also a, another uh, Synchro Pendulum too, so. Uh, it's cool to see some of these different uh, Pendulum and then extra deck monsters kind of combined and I'm still waiting on a pendulum fusion by the way I'm hoping that maybe that will be that star venom Somehow pendulum whether it be anime version or manga will get revealed soon But uh, yeah, this is definitely a really amazing card looking forward to using it And it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun in speed roids and can be used in other decks too Basically anything of course that involves wind monsters and stuff too So uh, looking forward to trying it out and uh, I can't wait to see what the other you know Like I said other uh, odd eyes counterparts are gonna be but yeah, let me know what you guys think on this card. Do you like it? Not like it so much? For me, I think it's awesome. It's going to be in the uh, Volume 2 of the Arc 5 manga, so we're going to have probably, I don't know, maybe a year or so to wait on this card? Something like that, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, it'll, I think it's going to be worth the wait, and uh, can't wait to see what we have by then, too. We might have a few other, uh, you know, Pendulum XCs and uh, Synchros and maybe even a Fusion by then. Who knows? But, yeah, definitely look forward to getting this card, and it looks amazing, too. Even though it's in a, a black and white image that we have so far, it still looks awesome. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this card. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See you.
Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cybernight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cybernight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.